another video guys. It is another very rainy day in New Orleans. Um, today I'm going to be talking about what I did personally to lose weight. It all began in middle school moving into high school because that's when you hit puberty and people start paying attention to how your body looks. So with that came a lot of insecurity being in my own skin. Subsequent to learning that I hated the way I look and I had to change, I tried every single diet to get myself to look quote-unquote beautiful. So in doing that, I birthed a very unhealthy cycle of doing fat diets and losing a ton of weight in very unhealthy ways and then gaining it all back. I started viewing food as the enemy. It became something I should not be consuming. Anytime you come from a place of depravity, you want something even more. It's called the cookie jar effect. If someone tells you you can't have something, you want it 10 times as bad. Needless to say, none of them worked. They might work for a few weeks, but not long term. I would end up crashing and binging, and it was this vicious cycle. Eventually, I stumbled across these vegan YouTube girls, and they were all thin in their bathing suits on the beaches, prancing around, eating tons of fruit, and looking fantastic. Now, at that age, not only did I want to look like that, I wanted to be able to eat as much food as they were eating. So immediately, I was like, sign me up. So I just delved into it. I cut out meat, I cut out dairy, and I also cut out oils. Now the sort of diet I was following is called the Dr. McDougall diet. Um, it's not just a vegan diet. And I'm telling you immediately, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the results. Not only for my body, but with my mind, the way I felt. And beforehand, I was someone who was depressed and bloated. I had a ton of acne. I never worked out. And if I did, it was aggressive and it was overbearing and it was simply to lower that number on the scale. It was never about my health. After I switched to this diet, a whole new mindset came to play. And that might sound odd, but when you start feeding your body with the things that it needs, everything shifts. I finally had the body that I had always been dreaming of, but it stopped being about that. I realized that the whole time I was focusing on the way wrong thing. So I started doing sports. I was fueling my body with healthy carbohydrates, vegetables, fruits, starches, and your body wants to burn that energy. I had to go for runs. I wanted to go for runs. I would eat a meal of potatoes and vegetables and fruits, and I would be energized after the meal, versus how I used to be eating, I would feel deprived, and I would feel fatigued, and I would feel heavy. You feel light, but you still feel full. It's the most satiating way to live in so many different aspects. Dr. McDougall also preaches you're trying to lose weight on this diet, you should limit intake of nuts, seeds, avocados, uh, whole plant-based foods that are a little bit higher in fat. Now, you don't have to admit these altogether, but a bulk of your calories shouldn't be coming from these things. Throughout history, a majority of the population were peasants. And on a peasant diet, many places throughout history, they were primarily starch-based. And this is because starches are cheap and they're accessible. Rice, beans, potatoes, wheat, barley. These are all things that were heavily, heavily consumed. Things like oils, meats, dairies, even nuts, seeds, and avocados were things that were rare. They weren't abundant in nature. So it was rare that you would eat a ton of cashews or eat a big fat burger. It was rare that you would slaughter the family cow to eat it. This is not a fat diet, but I saw immediate results. There's a good chance you will too. I'd say you're in Babylon. I'm sure you're skeptical about it because I would be. I would just give it a go, give it a try. Whatever your reason may be, this is, there are way more benefits to this than you would probably expect. I just want you to know that I just can't keep this to myself because it is something that has changed my life. Not to sound cliche, but it has. And so I wanted to share that with you guys um, if you're in the same situation that I was in. Because you don't have to feel like that. You don't have to live like that. You don't even have to look like that if you don't want, you know. I will add that I'm not currently super strict on the diet just because we are traveling right now. And not to say it's hard to eat that way on a diet, but I have um, but I've made the decision to give up a few of those amazing things temporarily to experience culture and experience good vegan food. Just have a little fun while we're in New Orleans and while we are traveling the country. You don't have to limit yourself. Even if you don't want to stick to this diet, if you're doing it a few days a week, that's great. It's progress. Stop in the right direction. You don't have to be so hard on yourself. And I think that's a, a thing that uh, people preach with diets and people preach with 
even veganism, that you really have to be all or nothing. And honestly, like that mindset is so detrimental. That all or nothing mindset, that is one thing that really spiraled me in a lot of different aspects of my life. And I want to sort of forget about that mindset. You don't have to calorie restrict. You don't even have to food restrict. If you want to do this diet, but you also want to eat an egg now and then, who am I to tell you that you can't do that? You can do whatever you want. Play around with it. Find what works for you. I just want to say that this is something that has changed my life. And if you're looking to experiment, give it a go. It's a great thing. If you like this content, please subscribe. I'm trying to build a YouTube channel and it's interesting to know what you guys enjoy, so leave a comment below. Thank you so much, I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.